It would help, Philip, if you pressed record, just for future reference. Good morning, folks. Phil here, and very happy Friday. Is it recording? Just double checking, because I, I just made a video with no record, as we all do. Schoolboy error. What's on the menu this morning for breakfast? Black coffee. And today's coffee is uh, hot java lava. And I can't remember who makes that. It could be Taylor's. I think it's Taylor's. Very good coffee. In the filter machine. Rattray Volcano, aka the Fudge Pipe. I don't know why they call them that. Started off pure naked briar, is degrading nicely to a nice dark colour. And I've got some Coniston cut plug in there, which is nice. Been a busy week for me. A couple of days laid off with a gastric thing. So yes, so Tuesday, Wednesday, no work, no pipes. Didn't have a pipe on Monday either. Th Thursday, that was my last, yeah, yesterday was my last pipe. First pipe of the week, I should say. And the first pipe I smoked, I didn't even want it. So I put it down and smoked it last night. And it was nice then. Sometimes you smoke out of habit, don't you? Um, so I watched no YTPC content, slept through the whole thing, and I'm being bombarded in my feed by what I kind of worried at the mo at, at the start was tributes to the Divine Miss Lee or Curmudgeon's uh, missus there. And I just realised finally after watching one or two that they were birthday wishes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Good, good stuff. Um, happy birthday, the Divine Miss Lee. You have joined me in that auspicious number. And now you are entitled to all sorts of insurance discounts and special cruises and package holidays that we can't go on anyway. So welcome aboard. Don't forget your glasses. So, um, this morning, I'm sitting there, showering and all that, and out of the corner of my, mind, I, uh, my eye, I see this black spot on my cheek, and it's a spider. And it's not just a spider, it's the biggest, fattest, hairiest, dirty, great spider that England has ever produced. I mean, this thing could probably eat small babies. This thing was massive. So I went, ah! And I tried to throw it off. And the worrying thing is, I didn't see anything hit the ground. I'm looking, I'm going, great, great. I've angered it now, and it's hidden. Got in the bath, got out, dried off. And I saw the spider again, in the same position. Well, the spider, it turns out was my beard, bushed out. <laughs> Honestly, ah, oh, senility. Well, what a gentle road it's taking me on. Ah, but hey, kept the heart rate up without aerobic exercise. So it's gotten kind of long. I do put a bit of beard oil and stuff in there and comb it but it is getting long but I kind of don't want to get rid of it either there you go I didn't I normally have my head uh, shaved I haven't done that in a while it doesn't quite look as good with a big beard it looks better with a goatee or a small beard anyway I'm not I'm doing the George Bruno thing again sorry George sorry um so I did the, launch the estate pipe auction. You can see that in my video, it's two videos back. Um, 
So the bidding started off at £20 for each of those pipes. Well, I had bid straight away. And if you look there now, the um, Calabash, yes, the Calabash pipe is going for f currently at £50 for uh, our dear friend Newton Piper. Thank you, sir. And the Mearsham. And we're a bit sketchy on who that Mearsham actually is. So if you could go back in that video, tell me who that is. I said so, Walter. Anyway, armchair Piper Ed. We all know Ed. Enjoy his videos. He's come in with a massive £60 on that. And he thinks it's a woman. I'll have to look again. <laughs> uh, and uh, even had a, a mystery outside bidder. Is going to contribute £40 to the charity. Doesn't even want to take part in the bidding, but... Your kindness has been noted. And you will go to heaven. And you know who you are. So thank you very much. If anyone else would care to donate to this cause, that's fine. I do realise that I'm probably not going to get many more bids. But we're going to let it go another week. Going to let it go another week. And if I haven't heard anything else, we might end it. We might end it in two weeks time rather than waiting to the end, end of November because I also realized that you might want these pipes delivered to you before Christmas and if that is the case especially Ed if you win um, that you know might be troublesome if we leave it to the end of November so I'm thinking about changing the date I don't think we'll get many more bids I think they've kind of reached the price that I would expect them to reach which is cool which is cool anyway um, thank you all for taking part. Um, the Pith Matinees keep going. Uh, we interviewed a guest last Saturday. We're interviewing another guest tomorrow. So next Thursday, you'll start seeing them come out. We didn't, we didn't launch one this week, didn't we? Had the professor had editing issues, but, uh, don't forget to do us a tobacco advert. So the tobacco advert should be 30 to 60 seconds long, extolling the virtues of a made up or your favorite blend. Uh, put a bit of creativity, put a bit of humor into it. And there's a couple of competitions there. Just make the videos, don't make the videos private, make them unlisted. So they won't appear in your subscriber feeds but we can get to them if you send us a link. If you send it, if you make it private, only you can watch. We can't look at it, okay? So don't do that. Anyway, uh, if you have any questions about that, just leave a comment in the bucket below. I'll answer them. Uh, what else has happened? I've had a little, um, had a little, been five years at my current employer, but very kindly gave me a five, Hundred pound Amazon gift voucher. I'm not bragging about that. Um, so I finally decided, after all these years of looking at them, to go ahead and buy a a buffing wheel set. There's um, it's quite a lot of stems I'd like to take care of properly. And I know I can do them with elbow grease, but uh, I just want the machine. And I can never really justify spending it. But if you've got a gift thrown at you like that. I mean, it's not anywhere near five hundred pounds, uh, but the rest of it, fortunately, can go towards Christmas presents. Uh, what else is happening? It's amazing, right? Rubik's cubes. You all, for a certain age, remember them. They don't seem to have ever disappeared. Um, except now they've got two by twos and four by fours and five by fives and then ridiculous sort of sizes. And some of these kids, I, I can even remember when I was a teenager, some of, some children could solve them in no time at all. And my son finally cracked it yesterday. And they mastered these algorithms. And 
they're, they're sitting there on YouTube and it sounds like hieroglyphics being sort of offered out to them. It's like R1, S2, U, U, U prime, D1. It's like a game of Battleship or something like that. But it's all about which sides to turn and when and how to get it. And he cracked it. And I thought, well, that's a fluke. Give me that cube, boy. And I scrambled it as best I could. There you go. About three minutes later, it's back. Give me that cube, boy. Scramble it again. Two minutes later. Oh, God. It's going to be one of them. I never solved one. I'm annoyed. <laughs> no, I'm not annoyed. Uh, so I might get myself one of those, and we'll have a little competition between me and those two boys. See who can do it quickest. I don't even know how to solve it yet. It'll probably take me a good part of a week to figure it out. Anyway, enough rambling. Enough I'm blabber. Uh, anything on this weekend? I might carry on with the nasal stuff. Nasal snuff stuff. Although with Paul Shellbetter on the case, doing his amazing little videos, I feel a bit of a fraud in that department. <laughs> okay, you lot take care. Have a great week. If I don't see you this weekend for some reason, then I'll see you next Friday. Ta-da!